Welcome to Electron Online. In geometry, we're now going to talk about quadrilaterals. So what is a quadri quadrilateral? I can barely pronounce that word. Well, quadri means four, and lateral means side. So it's an object that has four sides. Now there's some special cases of quadrila quadrilaterals. One of them is called a parallelogram. We also have a rectangle. We have the square, and we have the rhombus. So those are special types, and we'll get into those in just a moment. Any other figure that is not as symmetric as these four examples, they're just simply called quadrilaterals and can have any shape as long as they have four sides. So there's an infinite number of ways in which you can draw quadrilaterals. So what's a parallelogram? Well, it's basically a rectangle that's being skewed to the right, but the conditions are such that it has two pairs of opposing sides that are congruent, meaning they're the same length. So this side has to be the same length as this side. This side has to be the same length as this side. And notice that the opposing angles are the same or congruent. Now also, notice that if we draw a diagonal line, it doesn't matter if we draw it this way or this way, the two triangles that then you end up with, they are also congruent. They are the same triangle, just in an opposite direction. It's another way in which we can define a parallelogram. Now, a rectangle is a parallelogram that has four right angles. So if we take this and scoot it back straight so that we have four 90-degree angles, a parallelogram then becomes a rectangle. And then if we then squish the, the rectangle down a little bit so that all four sides are equal length or congruent and we still have the four right angles, then we have a square. And so a square is a parallelogram that has four right angles and four congruent sides. Now going back to the rhombus, what a rhombus is, a rhombus is basically a parallelogram, but if we stretch it out this way a little bit so that all four sides of the parallelogram are the same length, or again congruent, then we have a rhombus. So a rhombus is a very special type of parallelogram. And finally, back to the quadrilateral, we can draw any type of object that has four sides, it doesn't matter what it looks like, any of those types are simply called quadrilaterals, they have four sides, and so that's where the name came from. So now we have a better idea of what quadrilaterals are.